Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Are casinos coming to North Jersey? Not if the woman you're about to meet has anything to do with it. Deborah DiLorenzo is the chairwoman of No North Jersey Casinos Coalition. Thanks for coming in. November 8th will be the referendum vote, right? Yes, Larry, and thank you for having me. Sure, thanks for coming. Who's, the, who's in the coalition? Well, we have a diverse group of stakeholders, all like-minded, that Atlantic City should be the only destination for casinos. So we have regular businesses, we have business associations, we have organized labor, we have government leaders, and just regular citizens. You know, it's, it's interesting because over the years they've had referendums, all the way back since 1974 they've had referendums and they've, they've always failed. There was some hope from North Jersey, some people in North Jersey, not all of North Jersey, but some people in North Jersey, that it would pass this year. The polls don't seem to support that. What what is it about with people at North Jersey? Have you researched this, where they wouldn't want casinos in North Jersey? I understand South Jersey. I'm trying to figure out North Jersey. I, I guess they just aren't interested in the extra traffic and everything that comes with having a casino in an already very overbuilt North Jersey. But from the South Jersey perspective, we're looking at devastation of our economy. You know, Larry, North... Wait, let me just stop you for a second. Okay. You say South Jersey, mm -hmm. we're looking, for looking at devastation mm -hmm. of our economy. Outside Atlantic City? Yes. Yes. How does that happen? Well, think about it. If two casinos are built in North Jersey, we have an economic impact study that was done by a noted economist and... Um, individual who's very, who's very well uh, known in the uh, gaming industry, who predicts three to five casinos closing, predicts 23,000 to 30,000 direct and indirect jobs being lost. Unemployment in South Jersey, 25 to 30%. Property values declining. All of this kind of emanating from Atlantic City to Atlantic County and then out to the other counties because think about the people that work in the casinos are for all, from all over South Jersey. Yes, but I mean they've already gone through this type of retraction. Yeah, we've a lost 18,000 jobs in 10 years. Has it had that effect? I, yes, I, I haven't seen that. Absolutely, yes. Atlantic County has the highest home foreclosure rate in the United States. But are we just talking about Atlantic County? You said South yeah. Jersey. Yes. And that's what I was like. It's going yes. to affect Camden. It will yes, affect it, Cherry Hill. Uh, well, if you have a job and if you have a job at a, cas at a casino, a thousand people work in a casino that live in Camden County. So if you're one of the people that loses your job because three to five casinos close or your business was doing business with a casino. Think about this, Larry, in the 10 years that casinos opened in Pennsylvania and Delaware, South Jersey vendors lost $1 billion in sales. And that's from casinos that are further away than 72 miles, which is what the public question includes. So we are looking at devastation, and that is why our coalition formed. We started beating the drum about what is really happening with this referendum. No county mentioned, no town mentioned, no tax rate mentioned. So it's folly to think that millions of dollars will flow back to Atlantic City when you don't even know where these casinos will be located. You don't even know what the tax rate will be. So the panacea that the proponents are talking about to me, it's just, it's just folly. Deborah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank I you so appreciate much. it. Deborah DiLorenzo is the chairwoman of No North Jersey Casinos Coalition. How would you like, uh, everybody dreams of this, to go to a, a, an auction or go to a yard sale and uncover a valuable piece of art? It happened in New Jersey. We'll tell you the details when Jersey Matters continues.